I'm trying to I'm trying to think of how to describe it because it actually what was cool about it is that it really really was quite it felt quite normal. Um, it, it was kind of like the you know publishing your first book thing where you think it's going to be like the lights coming shining on you from heaven and really it was just you know we just got married just like everybody else does. We actually we weren't going to have a party at all. We were just going to get married, but our friends said no, you can't do that. So they put together a a potluck reception. So rather than being pre bringing presents, people brought food. It was really nice. <laughs> the only thing, the only difference that it made to be married is that now I called Deb my wife, and everybody knows what that means. And before, I would call her my life partner, my partner, my domestic partner, my my lover, my girlfriend. I, you know, all of these alternatives, and 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 none of them meant. None of them had this established understanding and meaning like wife does. And uh, for two people who uh, seem to spend a lot of time in the hospital, uh, <laughs> it's very useful to have this shorthand so that you know some you know some nurse walks in the room and says, "Who's she?" And I say, "Oh, that's my wife." And they go, "Oh," and they get it rather than me have to say, oh, this is the woman I've been living with and sharing a checkbook with for the last 21 years, and, you know, we have sex, and, you know. Do I gotta spell it out? Right, well, you do. Either it's, this is my wife, or you have to spell it out. Those are your choices. <laughs> so, that was very convenient. And um, when Deb managed to fall over and break her arm really badly, <laughs> When we're up in Maine, which and, and in Maine, technically we're not married, because uh, being married in Massachusetts is no good in any other state. Well, now you can go to uh, California. New York, California, but New York's recognized. Well, see, maybe by the time, maybe by the time we're in our 80s, we can travel anywhere we want and still be married. But we were in Maine, and we weren't married there. Um, but when she broke her arm, we had to call the ambulance to come get her, and, and, and I said, well, I'm her wife. And they got it immediately, and they immediately gave me all of the privileges that a spouse gets. You know, I got to see her in the hospital, I got to sign her intake forms, just the whole thing. And even though we did have um, powers of attorney for health care, which we travel with, uh, I never had to pull them out. They just accepted it. So um, even even though we're only legally married here, it still has complete meaning in other places, and that was good. It's just convenient. <laughs> it's convenient. Yeah.